Hello, uh, my name is Anthony. Um, I'm the chief editor of Global Media and China. Um, today I'm going to uh, talk about Global Media and China and how uh, Global uh, Media and China has been uh, like influenced by um, the open access policy. Um, uh, first of all, I'd like to give you uh, some background about Global Media and China. Um, it's a peer-reviewed open access journal uh, and it's an interdisciplinary uh, like journal in media and communication with a focus in China. We established it in 2016 and last year, luckily, we have become uh, uh, an ESSCI journal. Um, and what's important about this journal is that it is the first international media and communication journal in China published by Sage in English. Um, um, the reason why we can become an open access journal is because um, uh, we are actually sponsored by Communication University of China. Um, um, that appoints me as um, the chief editor. And um, uh, in fact, like, uh, I started to become the chief editor two years ago. Um, and I find um, um, most of the like, a new editorial board members and uh, advisory board members. Uh, last year, we also became um, a journal of the International Communication Division of the IMACR. Um, in this presentation, I want to explain that, uh, in fact, the reason why we can become uh, an ESSCI journal so fast is simply because we are an open access journal. Um, and um, in, as an ESSCI journal and open access journal, we have to like, maintain a really big operations. Um, uh, like I myself as a chief editor, um, Sandy Rosen in the States, Tim Jordan in UK, and Michael King in Australia, basically make all the decisions. But other than that, um, in fact, uh, the journal actually has been supported by a team of editors and managing editors. Um, there are at least three devoted staff and then few PhDs who work on the journals every day. Um, uh, I'm going to, to emphasize that um, an open access journal means that there are more work uh, because um, there are more submissions. Um, um, now, actually, we publish four issues annually. Um, this is a figure. The figure here is that we, uh, like, pop, uh, we have like, uh, 89 manuscript subscriptions in 2019 which is an increase of 74% from T018. And uh, you might notice that, in fact, the development of an, a journal with open access is really quick. Um, and it also affects other types of operation, like um, uh, I, there's a fig, another figure here, here, which is the 41 days average decision time to first decision. Um, uh, and this is a two one one nine figure. And the open access channel actually, um, actually okay, um, will affect the kind of um, uh, um, uh, like decision time and other operation as well. Um, let me uh, first explain my first point. The first point is that open access channel means a much faster rate of development. We have high download number. Um, the figure here uh, shows that uh, um, uh, last year we have more than 130,000 full text downloads. And uh, this is a huge number when you compare it with non open access journal. And this number also doubles uh, the figures in 2018, which means that we, we actually have a quicker way of development. And now um, we have also a new figure in January 2020. The journal has a download more than 10,000. Uh, that means every day uh, we are busy. Um, and uh, for those who are interested in well, their own articles, and, then, and from the author's point of view, um, you might notice that the top journal articles in the journal actually has a download of like more than 17,000. This is a huge number and much more high, much higher than a lot of other non open access journals. Um, the second point I want to make is that open access means more exposure. Um, then that naturally attracts more submission. 
um, a new, uh, from this table, you can see the original submissions like increase like almost like every year. And uh, we expect that like in the coming year, uh, we, we will have a new record as well. Um, and um, the third point I want to make is that in fact, um, open access doesn't mean that we actually would pay for the journal for the open access. We at the same time, we request more like resources or other things. Um, first of all, um, we need more manpower because there are more submissions. And now the financial support is given by Communication University of China. Um, now, um, first, uh, for example, we, we need more financial support and manpower support to handle more submission. Um, that is to speed up the decision rate and to filter articles which are not relevant. And the more important thing is that we all want to ensure quality. Um, so, um, so at least we, we organize like some uh, like um, special issues at uh, every year, and that special issue might be like uh, incubated in in an international conference organized by us. Um, and every year we also fly um, editors, editors from all over the places for new meetings. Uh, what this all requests like financial and manpower support. Um, and, but at the same time, we also uh, make use of the advantages of open access um, so that well, then we will be more impactful and at the same time, we attract more authors. Um, so in, in fact, we promote the journal and um, send message to potential readers um, uh, for download um, like, like every year. Um, uh, because we, we, our articles, articles can be shared unlimitedly. Um, so that's why we, um, First of all, we, we have email campaigns and messages um, to um, um, by both us and tutorial board and Sage um, to ask people to download. And second, we also like in China, we also have our WeChat promotion. There's also media promotion. Um, and since it's also a kind of like um, free download, so actually we, we ask the authors to put up their own like articles on their own website, say um, the personal webpage, or academic.edu, um, so that like like we have a maximum uh, kind of exposure, um, um, and we also uh, um, try to organize some um, some free occasion. Like uh, this occasion is that like we promote our our journals in ICA in reception party, and we also actually distribute our journals. Um, we also have joint promotion with some of the division in IMACR. So that um, in fact our journal can be reached by more people. So, so actually we, we want to make advantage of this open access journal. Um, um, the last point I want to make is that we actually we have a dilemma. There is um, the more submission. That means you require more time to deal with that. Um, so uh, this is always a dilemma of like um, we want to shorten the time of uh, like decision, but at the same time, there are more submissions as well. So um, um, if you look at the diagram, actually we, we try hard to have other resources to, sh to, sh to close the gap or, or like uh, shorten the gap between um, um, the first decision and the final decisions. And um, I, what we um, like um, admission is that like, if the gap is like shorter, um, then actually we, we actually have it bigger impact in terms of an open access journal. Um, and the last uh, remark I want to make is that like open source journals um, is definitely an advantage, but it requires commitment and we need long-term planning. Uh, for example, whether um, some organizations will be willing to pay the journal for an open access in a longer period of time. Um, and, um, and say the advisory board members might also do other things like in other journals they may request them to just to do some advisory role or review but actually we ask them to actually distribute some of our articles um, um for the time is short um maybe uh, like you are really interested in how we run an open access journal uh, this is my email address um i'm based in hong kong currently um, I hope that we are uh, in the future we have more time and to discuss uh, how an open access journal can be run. 
and um, and we have more face-to-face -face communication. Thank you very much.